It's very easy. It's the addition to the knowledge which has brought and brings this change. Which means, by changing of the speed, which is the outer layer of the rotation of the speed of the soul of the man, or in a way, going in a deeper way, and expanding the fields of the magnetical dimension, if you understand it, we create, we change interaction dimension, in conjunction with the soul of physicality, to create the new life, the new skin color, the new manifestation color. We know this technique is part of our genes, but we have forgotten about it in our daily life. Changing of the color, to fit the environment, the usage, is in our inherited genes, is inherited DNA, is inherited in our RNA. But we never understood that the soul of the man is the controller of the manifestation. If you don't understand it, it's very simple. You have seen it so much that you come used to it. Look at your hand. The palm of the hand is different color than the back of your hand. Especially this is much clearer if you're from Africa. The color of the palm is different than the color of the back of the hand. Does not matter, your white, black is always the color difference. And this is how we give and we take energy. This is how our soul knows change of color. But, we have never considered, we never understood how we are chameleons, we have two different colors, maybe some of us three or four different colors. The flat of your foot, and the skin on top of the foot. The way you go in the sun, on your suntan, why some of you can burn and some of you can walk in the sun and never turn? The skin of the man is part of the brain of the man. It's the way we are created. So, in that, if you understand, the skin of the man is the containment of the soul of physicality and the soul of the man, and their interaction decides the skin of the man, the color of it. And when the scientists understand this, when you as knowledge seekers go to transmutation and understand where to position your soul of physicality within the soul of the man, when you manifest yourself, when the soul of physicality becomes outside the soul of the man, what color, at what the strength you have to position it in the emotion to satisfy your manifestation. I go to Africa and I still want to be white. And I go to Europe and I still want to be black. If we understand these natural processes, which is part of the emotion of the life of the man, and in dimension of biological and whatever, we have explained everything about it without understanding the reason behind it, then we understand man has been, has carried out, has been part of its life within it. And to what extent we exchange for it. Why many of you, especially women, have a dark root and a blonde end after a few centimeters or a few millimeters. Why some of us have a black root hair and a white hair extension? These all come from the process of emotion. We never understand, we never understood, and if we apply that emotion, 
we can be as white skin as a white sheet, doesn't matter where we go, because we decide to have And you can have what we call it, I don't know if you've seen a blue black. The skin of the man is so blue black that it shows itself as blue. If you understand, all we need to know is actually to understand the physiology of the man, and then through that emotion, we can create different color of our skin depending on how and where we want to manifest ourselves. This is part of the learning curve of transmutation. You don't want to change the color of your kidney. You don't want to change the color of your eye. Or you want to keep that color of eye when you manifest yourself. And then, as I said, when I was explaining this to one of the knowledge seekers some time ago, you make the job of the hairdressers obsolete. Through emotion, you naturally change your color. You don't need to go and bleach it and put all chemicals on you and then change everything else. then you don't need makeup. Because you can change it through the emotions. And we know this, how do you blush? It's through emotion, which interacts with the skin of the man, and then they say the blood makes you blush. The blood is just a tool to, where you, the actual thing comes from, emotion of the soul. Then we understand. We already know what we are teaching. We never stood still to understand the process which has come from the emotion of the man. If you understand this, you can even put your finger in the fire and doesn't burn because you can change the dimension of physicality you can change the dimension of feeling strength of the physicality at that point of strength. We knew this when millions of years ago, when we were, we were conceived as a humans, as a new cell to structure as an animal on this planet. We know this because we've seen it with Animals would change their tail, they drop their skin, you can cut the tail and it grows back again. How does come that the snake can move their skin? We never understood. We have come out with also chemical reactions that actually understanding is the emotion of the soul. 